Jesus rejoiced. In that same hour, Jesus rejoiced in the Holy Spirit and said, I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and understanding and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for such was your gracious will. Luke 10, 21. This verse is one of only two places in the Gospels where Jesus is said to rejoice. The 70 disciples have just returned from their preaching tours and reported their success to Jesus. Notice that all three members of the Trinity are rejoicing here. Jesus is rejoicing, but it says he is rejoicing in the Holy Spirit. I take that to mean that the Holy Spirit is filling him and moving him to rejoice. Then at the end of the verse, it describes the pleasure of God the Father. Now, what is it that has the whole Trinity rejoicing together in this place? It is the free electing love of God to hide things from the intellectual elite and to reveal them to babes. And what is it that the Father hides from some and reveals to others? Luke 10:22 gives the answer. No one knows who the Son is except the Father. So what God the Father must reveal is the true spiritual identity of the Son. The point of this is not that there are only certain classes of people who are chosen by God. The point is that God is free to choose the least likely candidates for his grace. God contradicts what human merit might dictate. He hides from the self-sufficient wise and reveals to the most helpless and unaccomplished. Jesus sees the Father freely enlightening and saving people whose only hope is free grace. This is why Jesus rejoiced.